Hey guys, welcome to Mask Mum the Flea. This is going to be a brand new series of videos for my channel and they're going to be dedicated to the classic 1980s cartoon mask. More specifically, I'm going to dedicate the videos to the Kenner line of action figures and vehicles. So, Mask, when I was growing up, was one of my absolute favourite cartoons. Like a lot of people in my generation, in the 80s, we were really spoilt for cartoons. There were a lot of choice, from He-Man to Thundercats to Centurions, Cities of Gold. Um, <laughs> there was Dog Tanyan and the Musketeers. There was Jason the World Warriors as Inspector Gadget. There was Mask. There was so much choice. And for me, Mask is one of the ones that really stood out because I love the vehicles and the fact that they were so cool at the time. They could all transform and had multifunction. And it's just a really, really fun show. So at the end of last year, I started watching a couple of episodes online on YouTube. Really liked what I saw. Uh, the animation isn't, isn't that great, I'll be honest with you, but the episodes still held up quite well. And only half an hour as well. So I watched the first episode anyway. I went and bought this, which is the complete series box set. And it's 25 hours over eight DVDs. I think it's about around about 70 episodes in total. So as you can see, it's still sealed. I will get to that. I've just got a lot of backlog at the moment. <laughs> but yeah, once I've done that, I'll, I'll be able to uh, give you more of an overview of the actual show. So I'm really looking forward to that. But I was talking to Retro Dave Nintendo at the end of 2014, who, as you all know if you watch his channel, I started to pick up the, act the action figures as well. Now, we both agreed that we're not going to go crazy on this and want to be very specific. And for me personally, the only two that really appealed to me to pick up are mask figures and also He-Man as well, because I had a lot of He-Man figures back in the day and I'd like to get the characters back that I had. So I'm not going to be buying unboxed and mint and all of this. This is not like proper collecting like my retro gaming. This is purely just for nostalgic reasons and because I want to own them and display them in the game room. I think they look quite nice. So as long as they've got, they're complete with the weapons, I'm happy. Uh, I expect them to have some kind of paint wear on that because they are toys that have been played with. It'd be a bit weird if they hadn't. <laughs> so just a little bit of background. When I was a kid, in the 80s. Uh, I had one mask figure, that was it. One vehicle, one figure. That was my lot. And I had a lot of E-Man. Uh, I had He-Man figures, I had Transformers, and I had this one mask figure. But Mask was always one of the coolest shows on TV at the time. And my friend Ben, his parents bought him a lot of mask. He had quite, I can't remember exactly how many of the vehicles he had, but he had quite a good substantial chunk of the vehicles that were released. And so we used to hang out and play all the time. And I'd be playing with all these mass vehicles and we'd have a right laugh with that. It was really good. And so they've all stuck in my mind. And when I looked at them on eBay, I was like, oh, I remember that one, I remember that one. I would really like to get that one. And I started watching videos on YouTube where people have got their mass collections. And I was like, yeah, this is something I really want to get into. They look fantastic on display in your room as well. So in December, I picked up my first one. And then I picked up another one in January. Now, I won't be picking one up in February because I'm posting this first video now. So what I'll do the next month in March, I'll post another mask monthly video when I get my new vehicle. So there's no rush for this. I'm not going to be like March 1st, straight on eBay, get a vehicle. It could happen, but it's not the intention. I'm quite happy to wait for the most of the month until I find the vehicle that I want in the right condition for the right price. So let me show you what I got, guys. First one I got in December last year is the first figure I owned, what well, the only figure I owned as a child. And that one is called Condor. And it's a little green motorcycle, really cool design. It's got the little mask logo, which you probably can't see because it's hidden underneath. Uh, it's on, is it on this side? Yes, it's, oh, it's on both sides. And that guy there is called Brad Turner, he's the pilot. Now, I say pilot because this transforms into a helicopter as well, which is really cool. So I'll just show you, you basically pull the rudders up at the back there. See the bottom bit comes down there, you see it disappears. And then you can pull the rotor blades out. You've got a fully functional helicopter. A really cool little figure, quite minimal in its design compared to a lot of the mask vehicles, but one that I really like a lot, and it has a lot of nostalgia for me. It's, as I say, it's the only one I had as a child, so you know, brings back good memories holding this. <laughs> so I was really glad to pick that one up. And uh, these are relatively cheap as well; they're not expensive vehicles. Some of the mass vehicles can go up to like the fifty pound mark, but for the mo most part, a lot of them are quite cheap at the moment. And so in January, I picked up the next vehicle. Uh, when I saw this one, it just brought back loads of memories. I remember Ben having this one, and I was like, oh man, I love that vehicle, so I had to pick it up. And it is Hurricane. So this is a really cool design. I love the flames, the old, old American car style. 
Uh, I'm not too sure what the car actually is. I don't, I don't know much about cars, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but there you go. It's got some wear, obviously, but overall, really nice shape. Really happy with this one. Now, this one's got a really cool transformation. So basically, the roof there acts as a shield. So if you pull that up, the gun shoots out. So there you go, fires out of there. You've then got a protective shield for the, the guy that's driving the car. He's got a gun toy on top of there, which is fantastic. So more weapons at the front. The headlights pop out and the grill goes up, which is really cool. But the really cool thing is it's also an all-terrain vehicle. So if I just show you, you just twist the top and there you go. And then you've got several wheels. So obviously you can get traction on any surface, which is absolutely brilliant. Around the back, there's also a second, another weapon, the disc weapon that comes out the back, which I don't know because I haven't watched all of the cartoons. I've only watched one episode so far and it's been like 30 years since I watched this. So I'm assuming that would fire out the back as like a disc blade or something. Now, most of the ones on eBay are usually missing that. So this is why I picked this one up. I was really grateful to find this because some people ask quite a bit of money. This one was really cheap and it had all the weapons. So I was like, I'm having that one. Now, this one is driven by Honda McLean. I'll just show you Honda. So unfortunately, Honda is missing his mask, uh, which I was aware of when I purchased it. But I was quite happy there's Honda. I was quite happy to buy this, despite the fact that he hasn't got his mask, because you can replace the figures quite easily. There's loads of them on eBay. And they're around about eight to 10 pound a figure, which considering the size is quite expensive, I suppose. So I might pick one up in the future with a mask and then select the best looking one out of the two figures, put the mask on him and stick him in the car. I can always sell the other one on for like a five or something. So, you know, it's always a good thing. But yeah, I'm absolutely chuffed. I'm really happy. I mean, look at that, it's just brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. So that's Hurricane. And so there's a, there's a few on my radar that I really want to get. And a couple are quite pricey. So you're looking at £50 plus for some of them. So those will probably be the last ones I'll be picking up. But there you go, guys. Those are the mask vehicles and figures I've picked up so far. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know if any memories of masks as well if you're a fan of the show and the vehicles as well because they are fantastic. And if you've never seen this show, I'll put a link down below in the description. That'll be for the first episode that's on YouTube. So click on that, have a watch. It's only half an hour. See what you think. Let me know. And yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next month with my next Ma Mask Monthly Pickup.